This next story was brought to our attention by many of our viewers who noticed an awful smell surfacing around their neighborhoods. It's not unusual by any means, but for some reason it seems to be more pungent around Valentine's Day. So we sent 9 News reporter Kevin Torres out to sniff around, figure out what it is and why we're noticing it. I, I've never really fallen into the uh, gotta send roses. With Valentine's Day only a few days away, it's important to have a plan. Um, I have a girlfriend, so I better. Especially if you're in a relationship like Mark. It is. Yes. For him, one thing is crucial. Trying to get it right. You can't screw it up. <laughs> exactly. Sort of like the job he's about to do. I'm going to go check the traps. I have them here and here. When Mark's not spending time with his lover, he's dealing with a bunch of little lovers. The key is not getting sprayed. After all, this is the beginning of skunk mating season. And, uh, even though I haven't caught anything, we've got some footprints here showing that they were... They were actually out and about. The skunks, Mark says, breed only once a year. Not only are they stinky, but he also says they're kinky. They actually do breed in groups. Um, they're not monogamous. You hear that? Uh, like in the 70s. <laughs> Turns out that character we've all come to know is pretty much dead on. Yeah, just to show you it. Mark tries to lure them in with sweets. Twinkies and vanilla tend to do the trick most of the time. Just like Valentine's candy. If there is something sweeter than the holiday time they tend to adore, perhaps it's the offspring that come in the spring. It takes about 62 days from the moment skunks mate for babies to be born. What I'm told is they're very... Uh, affectionate like kittens. And that brings us back to the smelly, staunchy, stringy scent. It's a myth that the babies can't spray, and they can. Word of warning, don't get too close. During the breeding season, the males tend to be a little more aggressive. Just remember, when they're angry, they spray. So that would account for the increased number of uh, aromatic presence. <laughs> you know, skunk can have, skunks can have up to 16 babies, perhaps even more. As you heard, the little ones can start spraying right away, too. If you're noticing the scent in your neighborhood, it's likely because the skunks are running at dogs, cats, perhaps even raccoons in the community, as you just saw there in that video. They never spray the scent to try and lure in a mate. That never works. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> just just a kind of a guess there that it probably wouldn't work. Yeah. But I thought it was really interesting to see that, you know, Kyle Clark even yesterday, Yesterday was saying, gosh, why am I smelling, you know, this uh, skunks in my neighborhood? And a lot of folks on our 9 News Facebook page are saying the same exact thing. And there it is. It is skunk baiting season. So from now until the end of March is uh, when we'll start to notice it a little bit more. Huh. I know <laughs> in the Midwest, there it's a real problem. I mean, you, this, they're everywhere and it, it is the most obnoxious thing. And you'll be driving down a highway and your car will fill with the odor and it's another 10 miles before you can get, get it out with it. all the windows down. Yeah. It's very pungent. And you know the thing is, uh, the folks at Critter Control, they're all over Colorado, so they know uh, you know where the skunks are. And they say that Boulder tends to have a huge skunk population. And of course, a lot of it has to do with trash that people leave out. Even if you're not you know, scattering it about, even if it's in a bag or something, those things can get into it. The guy was telling me a really interesting story that he went to a junkyard and he saw a bunch of skunks uh, crawling through broken glass even on their little paws and the reason being is because they're attracted to the sweets and they saw the 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 um, uh, you know obviously soda and everything right, else that's yeah. around Aww. and even though it was broken glass they still went after it so How about that? yeah really interesting huh. Another reason just to eat all your Twinkies. <laughs> don't throw any of them away. Twinkies, wow, they yeah. can taste. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They sure do. Some Valentine's candy and everything else. So. Skunks and raccoons, they can be a menace. Okay, yeah. well, Kevin, thanks for getting Who around. Who sure thing. I was wondering what you were going to do if a skunk came flying out of one of those traps. <laughs> Run like crazy. <laughs> I do not want to have to do a tomato juice bath. No, <laughs> oh, no. Although uh, I hear that works. Tomato that's, juice removes the scent. I've that's heard. what he was saying as yeah. well. So. It's a lot of yeah. tomato juice. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Thanks, thanks Kevin. Buddy. You're welcome. It is.